Processing of fresh fruit bunches, FFB, generates wastewater known as palm oil mill effluent, or POM. The raw POM is pumped into the mill's cooling pond to help reduce POM temperature. This will create optimal conditions for the bacteria in the POM to break down the organic content within. Subsequently, the raw POM is fed into the mixing pit where it is mixed with recycled palm from the covered lagoon. This process will help to stabilize the pH value, reduce carbon dioxide levels, and also further reduce the palm temperature to around 40 degrees Celsius. This mixture then flows into injection pipes that feed into the bottom of the covered lagoon. The palm is released at several points along the pipe to increase turbulent flow and equalize mixing. The palm, through anaerobic digestion, 30 to 40 days, in the covered lagoon, steadily produces biogas. This biogas consists of 60% methane, CH, and 35% carbon dioxide, CO2. In the event of excessive gas pressure, a pressure release valve will be opened to relieve the pressure in the covered lagoon so that it is maintained at less than 1 m bar. Part of the treated palm will be recycled back into the palm mixing pit and the rest will be back into the mill's existing treatment ponds. The biogas flows through a blower and into the scrubber unit. Blower are used to boost biogas from digester into scrubber units. The scrubber contains several thousand units of packing medias to increase the surface area for hydrogen sulfide breakdown through biological process. Treated palm is then showered from the top of the scrubber to wet the packing medias. H2S concentration will be reduced from 3000 ppm to 150 ppm. Through bacteria activities or biological processes, less than 150 ppm to prevent corrosion and increase the lifetime of the biogas engine. After this stage, the biogas is led into the humidifier, also known as the chiller. The biogas is rapidly chilled to less than 10 degrees Celsius. This removes moisture, achieving less than 50% humidity. This makes it easier for the biogas to combust. The treated biogas flows through another blower into the biogas engine where it will be combusted to convert into electricity. This electricity will be injected to the national grid. In case of engine shutdown, the biogas is flared. This prevents the release of methane into the atmosphere. Through this environmentally friendly manner, the plant produces cleaner source of energy for all.